Hope you can see this shit, hope you believe it Promise to never walk out on me leaving I thought that I wanted this shit but the video on camera and um the girlfriend was walking with the shooter the boy who shot the gun the girl walked him back there he shot the gun and he ran and the girl was still walking i don't know why y'all dumb fucks act like these cameras don't work up here they think that shit on camera is shocking. Hey, I'm Gabriel Martin, and you're watching Thirst Trap Boys. Please listen carefully to the following message from TTV Entertainment. If you are on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Thank you so much. We truly appreciate it. Long Liz A, Long Liz A, Long Liz A, Long Liz A. People killing people, dying, shouldn't hurt you, hear I'm crying. Can you practice what you preach, or would you turn the other cheek? Father, 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 help us, and some guidance from above. Cause right now people have me questioning, where is the love? We blog. We gossip. We share porn. We are media. We are Thirst Trap Boys. As of now, I'm sure you all are aware that um, social media influencer Zay Wo has been shot and killed a week ago. <sighs> this, mm, this information is tragic. And um, I'm going to do my best to cover this story. I just literally found out this information about two hours ago via a phone call from the CEO of their strap boys shout out to Matt and um I'm gonna do my best to let you guys know what really 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 happened with all of the facts that I was able to piece together within the last two hours so here goes nothing <clears throat> 18-year-old um, OnlyFans content creator and TikTok influencer Zay Wo was gunned down on September 22nd in Dayton, Ohio. Now, according to his friend, online user The Real Gutta K, um, this person is claiming that Zaire, which is you know Zay Wo's real name, that Zaire's girlfriend and the mother of his child walked the shooter to the apartment where Zaire was shot and then the shooter fled the scene. Gutta K is also alleging that there's footage, but no one has seen it yet. So this, this, you know, it's just all speculation at this point. Now, his last post was on September 14th and he was, you know, he was looking to branch into music, you know, in the music industry by rapping and whatnot. And he released a song called Anybody Else But You and... Honestly speaking, you could really hear the potential in his flow. All he needed was a couple more years to get his craft together, and he could have been a mainstream star. Like, he had super potential. He already had the look, but he had really, you know, he had good bars, good flow, good timing, good phrasing. Um, he signed with his father's record label, which is Six, Six Figure Entertainment, along with his cousin for a hundred thousand dollars and they both split it in half and they each took 50 grand now they signed on june 17th 2020 now um zaire was laid to rest on september 28th 2020 but let's go to daytondailynews.com for the official report you guys ready okay a teenager who died following a shooting early tuesday at the fountainhead apartments in harrison Township has been identified. A cause and manner of death for Zaire Shira, 18, of Harrison Township, has not been determined at this time. Deputies responded to the 5,600 block of North Main Street around 1.24 a.m. on a report of shots fired, according to the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office. According to dispatch records, a caller reported that their boyfriend had been shot. Other callers reported hearing gunshots and screaming, and one told dispatchers that she had 
seen blood on the ground. Upon arrival, deputies found an adult male later identified as Zaire with a gunshot wound in an apartment. They began life-saving measures on him, but he died from his injuries, according to the sheriff's office. Now, the suspect reportedly fled in a vehicle, according to dispatch records. Investigators are interviewing potential witnesses and continuing to look into the case. They are working to learn more, and they will update the story as more information is released. Now, let's go back to what Gutta K was saying. Gutta K was saying that Zaire's girlfriend, Kamari, set him up, right? And I wasn't there, you weren't there, but it, it, it's looking kind of sketchy. I mean, if if she called the cops and she called this in, obviously she saw something that happened. You understand what I'm saying? Like, she's in the crime scene. It's not like she just walked in with him shot on the ground. Like, like, she was obviously there with him. She knows something. And what's also really odd is that <clears throat> she went on social media and was like, you know, crying and stuff and whatnot. And then she was like, oh, for a thousand likes, I will let you guys know what happened. I'm like, bitch, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, what? Not not to make light of the situation, but bitch, a thousand likes? A thousand likes for you to tell your story, for you to tell the truth? Like, people are so, oh my God, people are so brainwashed by clout and social media. Like, is are you serious? Like, a thousand likes is worth you telling the truth of what happened to somebody you love, the father of your child? He's worth a thousand fucking likes? Are you kidding me? I'm disgusted. I'm really, really disgusted. However, and I know a couple of people are about to be mad at what I'm about to say, but it is what it is. Let's just keep it all the way 1,000. Zaire was not surrounded by good people. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't really know anything about the man. You know, I didn't. You know, that's, I don't follow him. I never followed him. I don't, it's just not my thing, you know? But during these last two hours of doing my research for this story... I was going through, you know, all of his social media accounts and come on, what do you see? You see a whole bunch of money. You see drugs. You see gangsters, you know, or wannabe gangsters, at least. It's just, he wasn't surrounded by great people. Like, they throwing gang signs and all this bullshit. Like, living the street, thug life mentality. And you live by the gun, you die by the gun. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know why people want to get wrapped up in that life because there's only two ways out of it. And that's in a casket or behind the jail cell. Like, I don't know why that's so appealing to people. And his father, oh my God. <sighs> Let me try to be nice because the father is grieving. If that is his real father, a mess, a mess. Yeah, I'ma hold it down for you. You already know what it is, gangster. Yeah. Nick, what? Really? Like, I just don't understand. You, you still gotta be a tough gangster when your son was just murdered. Really? You can't form a straight sentence. Really? You can't look into the camera and just say, "I miss my son." You know, I love you. Nah, cause you already know we're gonna hold it down. We're gonna get this money. We're gonna get this band. We're gonna get these bitches. My guy. For real. And then after that, the next post was a picture of diamond fucking teeth. Yeah, my son would have loved this. G shit. They be killing me. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Look at what this lifestyle does to people. An 18 year old guy was just buried two days ago. Eight. 18 years old and he's gone what the fuck did he experience teletubbies pokemon tiktok this nigga ain't never bought his first house he ain't never got married you know i don't know if he went to his prom i don't even know if he graduated high school but there are certain milestones in life that he's just never like what it's just unbelievable and it's so crazy how so many people are influenced by this bullshit. I just really wish that our young black men have more positive role models. And, and young black females as well. Just, 
young black people, like my God, if you guys are around this, which I understand is a lot because, you know, a lot of black folks, you know, unfortunately, we do grow up in these environments where we see drug dealers and, you know, fast money, fast cars. And because we're struggling, we want that fast money, too. So we get caught up in that lifestyle. But I promise you, I promise you, if you just go the other route, yes, it's going to be harder. Yes, it's going to be more work, but you'll be alive. You'll be alive and you'll speak proper English, you know, and, and you'll have a house and you have your own money, like real money, not street money, not crime money, not drug money, but real hard working money. Like this street shit is for the birds. It's for the birds. It's for the fucking birds. Rest in peace to Zaire. Um... Damn, what else was I going to say? Oh, the funeral was really nice. Um, they had Zay Day. Um, I think the casket said one more ride, which, which I really liked. Like, one more ride. I thought that was a dope touch. Like, whenever I leave this earth, I want I want my casket to say the same shit. One more ride. One last ride, bitch. And um, it was raining on the day, so that means... I don't know what that means when it rains during a funeral. But... Um, I always take that as God's crying, you know, because it's, it's sad. Like, God is crying. But somebody else commented, like, you know, it's raining. That means, you know, Zay went to heaven. I don't know how that correlates, but hopefully Zay did go to heaven, you know. And um, <clears throat> it just sucks. And now he's receiving so much fake love from people. You know, people, all, <sighs> fake people always want to come out when somebody dies. They was alive, you was talking mad shit, you was popping shit, fuck you, you're this, you're that, you're homophobic, I don't like you. Boom, he's dead. Oh my god, I, I loved you so much, you were amazing. <gasps> oh, I can't believe it. And you know, like I told you guys at the start of this, you know, Zay Wo was also an OnlyFans adult content creator. As soon as he turned 18, he signed up for OnlyFans and you know, he was selling his nudes and the comments are just out of control like some bitch wrote damn daddy i always wanted to sit on it now i'm never gonna have the chance to sit on it like really really like his family has to see those comments you stupid ass uh <sighs> what is going on in 2020 i just don't understand the 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 lack of respect for somebody's child you know, it's just, it's embarrassing. Like, people really say anything on social media for some type of attention. So, if you are a parent out there right now, I'm going to need you guys to love your kids. Because these kids are out here wilding. These young-ass teenagers are tripping the fuck out because you're not showing them any fucking attention. So, they're seeking it from a bunch of strangers and they will say anything to get a like. That boggles my mind i just don't under i i cannot comprehend it and i never will i just don't get it okay i just yeah i ain't never got it. you know not even when i was not even when i was 18 i i never understood oh i gotta get likes i gotta get likes i gotta get likes i don't give a fuck about your like <laughs> like what <laughs> you like my photo okay <laughs> You know, I don't give a you seen it, motherfucker. I don't care if you like it or not. I know you saw that motherfucking photo. I know you saw that video. I don't give a fuck if you like that shit or not, nigga. You saw it. Period. That's that's the point. But um, yeah, rest in peace to him. It's super sad. And um people are still out there, you know, uh trying to sell his nudes, which is crazy as hell. You're selling a dead man's nudes, really. People are like, yeah, 50% off. 50% off on Zaywo's nudes. Like, what? Like, how do you even masturbate to some shit like that? Knowing he's gone. Like, what? That's just weird. People are weird to me. I understand people got fetishes, but that is some next level shit. This man ain't even been in the ground for two days and you over here busting your nut to him? What? Please sink. Please seek mental evaluation ASAP. 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 And unfortunately, you guys, that is the latest TTB breaking news. Rest in peace, Zaire. Zaywo. And um, 
Yeah, man, it's it's tragic. Gone too soon. Gone too motherfucking soon. Stay safe, y'all.